We're always looking um, for this brownish red plume to escape from their rear end. There are moments Lee Torres and her fellow Oregon State University researchers wait for every summer. And when we see that, um, we all yell poop. Torres is talking about the feces of gray whales. Over the last five years, the researchers have followed the whales off the coast of Newport, scooping up their poop. Drones flying above alert the scientists when the job is done. And then we have two mesh nets, like a pool net, um, on the end of a long pole. And we just, you know, move that back and forth through the water, trying to collect as much poop in the net as we can. And when they scoop all they can get, they then analyze it. Their goal? To find out just how stressed out the whales are. So for this study, we um, analyzed the hormone signals in um, 100 and over 150 samples collected from gray whales. Torres cites one example of a sample collected from a whale when it was healthy and a sample from the same whale after it had been injured, she believes after being struck by a boat. And so what we saw is that the hormone levels in that individual with the injury was three times higher than what we had ever measured for that individual before. Torres says increasing ocean noise from things like vessel traffic, Navy sonar or seismic surveys may also stress the sound sensitive animals. So if there's all this noise in their environment, it, it, to them it's like living at a rock concert their entire lives and ultimately they could, um, their populations could decline. The researchers hope their work will give us a better understanding of what is too loud for the whales and if we need to change our ocean practices to make sure these majestic animals survive. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.